This presentation is for you if you're already using Confluence or if you're in a very big company and you're trying to get a bigger concept of how to deploy Confluence in your whole company. So let's take a look at the house here. Um, it consists of um, Confluence, which is our basement, the main engine that we'll use to drive our intranet 2.0, our social intranet. But it also consists of plugins, personalization, internationalization, and corporate design. I'll tell you later why there are other floors and a, and a roof. But um, let's look at the story of the unlucky Colin Convince. Actually, he's very good at convincing people. Um, when he has an idea, an endeavor, he, it's easy for him to, to get people supporting and help him. But actually, he has some trouble uh, in his Confluence uh, project. When he showed the software the first time to his colleagues, it was they were all thrilled by the features and the ease of use, the usability, and the fast way they could collaborate with the software. It would spread around the whole department very quickly. And then even another department would um, take or join the club and use Confluence uh, extensively. But um, uh, one day uh, there was Oscar Old School. Uh, we'll uh, get to know him uh, very soon. And he kind of put a stop sign to the growth of the Confluence system. That's at least what Colin uh, Convince things um, happened. And um, it's a, a very common thing that Confluence grows organically, very fast, very quickly, and people get very thrilled about Confluence. But then it stops somewhere where, because there are some roadblocks. And actually, if you're um, looking at this Oscar old school, um, he's not blocking the software, but he has some question marks in his head. He uh, doesn't understand the concept uh, of a wiki correctly. And um, so Colin Convince, as he has uh, inadvertently put up the um, stop signs, goes to um, this Oscar old school and tells him, look, let me explain to you how things go. Let me try to explain to you um, with a metaphor how he tries to do that. Let's imagine that we travel back to 2006. And so Oscar Old School has this Blackberry with this keyboard. And um, Colin tries to tell him, look, phones, smartphones would get much better if they had only one single button. And actually, as we know today, um, there has been a concept that has been introduced slightly after that uh, point that kind of changed the world of smartphones a lot. And this phone only has one button. So we have a concept already. We know that. And it's easy for us to come up with this uh, type of phone. But um, the manager, like Oscar Old School, he, he doesn't know the iPhone yet. So uh, he may rather think of, oh, I have a a keyboard right now, and how do I get this w with one button? It has so many uh, pictures. And um, so it's probably kind of problematic for him to understand this concept. And it, we are only talking about one button. If we're talking about wikis, you'll uh, try to tell him, look, everybody can change everything in the wiki, uh, in the Confluent Enterprise Wiki. That's awesome because we'll get so much activity in the system. And you don't have to fear that you can control it because we have a rights management system. And uh, you can watch pages. And other people watch pages automatically also as soon as they interact with the page with a like. And um, still, you'll have the um, version management uh, so you can revert changes very easily. And then those changes will be displayed on the dashboard also to make uh, them visible for other people to look whether this, this is cool or not. And I could go on and go on, but a point far before this point, uh, there will be have a situation where um, Oscar Old School would have pressed this button. And he'd say, oh, <laughs> this is an emergency stop. I don't get what you're saying. I'm, I, I was thinking we were talking about a simple phone, but now, or this thing called Wiki, which I know as Wikipedia, but now you're uh, telling me about this, what you see is what you get, editor and uploading files and all this. So it's very difficult to get such a complex concept, like a Wiki, 
and even an enterprise wiki like Confluence without using it. So let's say Oscar Old School pressed this button. The next time when Colin Convince tries to tell him again about this wiki concept, he'll have less time until Oscar presses this button. And um, if he goes on and doesn't succeed, um, the time will be zero one day and Colin has a real problem. So let's look at um, the way more successful Adam Adapt, who simply adapts to what the managers or the management wants him uh, to deliver. He says, let's introduce a social intranet. Um, he knows that um, one thing that you wanna have is a, an entrance hall that is representative, that is splendid, that impresses people. And if you wanna have a social intranet or an intranet, a new intranet, it has to look good, right? It has to reflect what people, also managers, expect from this extranet. It can't be just like a um, grassroots thing where everything changes every other second. It's just um, people want structure, they want hierarchy, they want um, this an, to be an ordered manner or project. And uh, so even if you don't like marble, um, you still need this, let's call this entrance 1.0. So uh, what you kind of need for your intranet is an intranet 1.0 starting point, a homepage that is well-crafted and meets the expectations of managers. And it's not only the homepage, but let's keep it to the homepage right, right now. At the same time, if you are talking about an intranet, you're talking about saving time for your employees. You want to be productive. You want to be valuable um, with your intranet product. And um, if you look behind the scenes, um, everybody knows that there's dirt, that uh, there could be a precious mess, that people sweat, that it, um, something smells and all this. That's not a problem for Oscar Old School. He's well aware that he has to delegate um, his work, that there's this cool concept by Drucker Management by Objectives where he keeps or leaves uh, his employees freedom to, to perform. So he has no problem if this intranet has areas where people can work on their own terms, where they can decide how to work. He just wants this like a whole site, like uh, his whole production site. It has an entrance hall, maybe an entrance hall 1.0 that is splendid and out of marble and all this stuff. And it also has these um, areas where people really work. And you have to, to have both to convince him that this is a reliable concept. So let's look at our house again and um, let's take another metaphor to show you how this could work. Um, let's assume that Confluence is kind of bungalow, like a one floor um, building with no roof. And um, it's looking fine. Uh, I could imagine having my vacation there and so um, it can be used standalone. This software could be your intranet, but still, if you're not Google or Facebook or any of these other high-tech companies, you may have these Oscar old schools in your company. And um, this would rather go like this, uh, like Colin Convince goes to Oscar old school and say, a house. And then this Oscar has this image of this multiple, uh, floor um, building with the roof and Colin thinks of his bungalow. So he goes on and says, look, it's so incredible. It comes without a separate roof and only one floor. And then the image in Oscar's head changes to a situation where water comes in and he thinks, oh, this, this sounds like a really weird experiment that Colin has uh, um, on his roadmap, so I may rather want to question that or even stop this thing. So um, it would be much better for Colin to come up with a house that actually looks like a house that Oscar Old School has in his mind, that uh, doesn't only have this basement motor or engine, but also some plugins that make it a real intranet, 
Um, it could be as simple as um, a phone book where you could get numbers out there or an expert search where you could find skills of other people. It could be a personalization where you can uh, have the system adapt to German language where I stand from or English language or Chinese language. Uh, it could automatically translate contents on the fly so that an Indian guy would understand what someone else uh, did already um, in the internet and could comment um, in his or well, with his English skills on the foreign kind of page. Um, and it should have an, a, a, a corporate design, which would be kind of our intranet 1.0, our entrance, our marble entrance, uh, the starting page, the home page, and some pages that would make the internet look pretty. And so altogether, this makes a social intranet that actually convinces Oscar Oldschool that this is an endeavor he want to follow. And it, actually, it's the same thing. It's just a playing Confluence with some plugins, with a theme, um, and some work around. So um, it's not such a complex thing. And so Adam adapts much more successful to, to do that. And the next thing is, why should I do that? So uh, why should I uh, follow this path? And just to give you some things that you may already know is like, if you're a fleet manager, you don't want to make a mistake. If you have only Mercedes's in your fleet, that's no problem. If the car broke, it's not your problem. You bought a Mercedes, right? So um, you may want to go with this SharePoint thing, which is from the, um, actually it's, it's the market leading, leading internet um, software. Uh, Microsoft SharePoint is um, the number one internet solution today. And if you choose that, uh, it may not be a problem, so your fleet may go. But at the same time, this SharePoint thing is also a dragon. It's, uh, it's expensive. Um, we see a lot of instances that are not heavily used. It's not that um, this hot part of activity and, uh, uh, that you want to have. And uh, yeah, there are alternatives. There is a, you could call it a dragon slayer, um, something that um, is fast, that is agile, that is helping your people really work with the system. You don't want to have a system that is only Internet 1.0. You want to have this 2.0, this Web 2.0. Um, everybody can join this, this Facebook-like um, experience where people can put in their knowledge, where they can collaborate with others, where this is a real project management software. And um, yeah, if, if you look at Confluence, it's the only solution in the market that has a real what you see is what you get editor. If you want to have Word online in a web browser, then Confluence is the only software that has a reliable what you see is what you get editor that comes close to Word and is even better in uh, some instances. It's easy to use, it's very fast, it's, it works on every browser, you can use it on your iPhone, on your iPad, on another smartphone, uh, it's mobile, it's responsive. Um, and there are a lot of things that Confluence has that things like SharePoint and other internet solutions can't do. So if you go from this marble entry, you can go with this marble entry with any software. It could be SharePoint or whatever, or Confluence. Um, but if you go to the production site where people don't care about marble, where they only care about, is this a real collaboration software that helps me? Then you want to have a really good experience for your people, a mighty software that helps people on their daily jobs. And that's what we experience with Confluence. That's what we experience with those people sitting around here watching this today. And you'll have other uh, companies like B. Brown present you later how this can materialize in a real solution. So, from a conceptual um, model, this is why Confluence may be a good solution um, uh, in features. But there's also this pricing thing. Like if you save 40 times of the licensing costs between SharePoint and Confluence, that even counts if you're a very big enterprise. If you're saving like big bucks on the project, if you're very much faster, if it's uh, 
easier not to be locked in to one vendor. Um, these are things from an economic perspective that make this Dragon Slayer picture really something that should make you consider choosing Confluence over something like SharePoint or something else. Um, and basically, that's uh, what I wanted to talk about. Um, this house w uh, that we've created on top of this awesome enterprise wiki Confluence that makes up as a really cool social internet. If you want to know more about that, contact us or see our other videos uh, of people presenting how this works. Thanks. Bye.